From puberty to menopause, naturally cycling females will experience quite dramatic fluctuations of circulating sex hormones affecting both how we feel and how we function. Let's say we have like a cycle of 28 days, normal and regular length of a uh, menstrual cycle. Then day 1 to 14, or the follicular phase, will be about the body preparing to release or perhaps also receive a fertilized egg. This is why estrogen levels will rise to a maximum peak at day 14, triggering this ovulation. And research actually shows that risk-taking behaviors may increase, not necessarily due to negative feelings, but due to positive emotions during this time of the menstrual cycle. However, as often is the case in, in young females with ADHD, if the result of even though positive impulsive behavior is drinking alcohol, taking drugs, having risky sex, driving irresponsibly or shopping impulsively, the consequences might, might be just as serious. Also, since estrogen and dopamine may potentiate each other, side effects of ADHD medication that affects dopamine levels may further increase the risk-taking behavior. So if you have an ADHD profile that is defined mostly by impulsivity and hyperactivity, this part of the menstrual cycle may actually be the most difficult part of the month for you. And then following day 14, estrogen level falls quite steeply, stabilizing on a, on a lower level during day 15 to 28, the luteal phase. Then instead, progesterone levels will start rising, creating an entirely different hormonal environment where women generally report more symptoms of depression, anxiety, rejection, sensitivity, dysphoria, sleeping problems, cognitive difficulties with the memories, etc. So if your ADHD profile is defined mostly by low energy levels and anxiety, then the period around a higher estrogen level might offer a welcome energy and mood boost, but you may instead suffer tremendously with PMDD, PMS in the later part of your luteal phase. And this just sheds light on how important it is to not just use the one-size-fits-all regime that we do when we use the male as the norm for ADHD.